Hello and welcome to more Penny Dreadful. Today we got a really spicy brew, one I'm very excited about. It's Death Cloud. So this card is black, 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 X. Each player loses X life, discards X cards, sacrifices X creatures, then sacrifices X lands. So it just completely nukes the board, but you get to control when and where this happens. So we're playing that alongside four copies of Braids, which makes them sacrifice an artifact creature land every turn and smokestack. So we're really trying to nuke the board. Um, and then to combo with that, we have a lot of fast creatures. So the plan is to play a turn one birds or a turn two talisman to play a turn three braids or smokestack. That puts the opponent on the back foot and we can benefit a lot from sacrificing our own creatures from Grim Hair Specs. Whenever a creature we control dies, we draw a card. So if you have multiples in play, um, Braids actually acts like a Howling Mine, which is awesome. We have three Drawnyard Temple. So if you just have Braids Drawnyard Temple for three mana every turn, you just don't have to sacrifice. So you can build up that way. And then we have like things like Dusk Legion, Zealot, Wall of Blossoms. Uh, Land of War Visionary is an all-star here. It's just a three mana 2-2, two -two, draws a card and taps for mana. So it's the perfect card. And then um, Garrick just does Garrick things. The ultimate is a very real way to win. He makes beasts every single turn, fixes your mana. Just the perfect way to round out the deck. So it's really fun. It's a lot better than it looks on paper. Um, the sideboard is what we need to work on though. So I'm not sure we might want Dark Rituals in the main deck, but this is for matchups where they're playing something unfair. We need a turn two Braids um, or a turn two Smokestack. So Dark Ritual against like High Tide, I think is our one out. Um, to just get down before they can start developing their mana. And then Choking Sands, I'm not sure about. We could have Duress to um, stop them from doing things, but if you want more land destruction, this could be it. I feel like we might want to Duress, though, so we'll try. Curse of Death Hold for token decks, because um, you know if they have a lot of tokens, they can sacrifice them. This also is good against green decks, like mine, for example. Just kills all their birds and such. Sandworm Convergence is my favorite card. This is really good against Glorybringer decks, or like red-green dragons, so they just can't attack. And then you get a 5-5 five, five every turn. So if you just land this card, you win the game. It's fantastic. And then four Soul Guide Lantern because I saw some people making dredge in my Discord and it looks terrifying. So that's the deck. Hope, hope you enjoy. See you guys in the rounds. All right, we're playing against Raphael Seraphon. This hand is good if I hit a Black Source. It's a turn three Braids, but it doesn't do anything else. I'm going to keep. Opponent leads on Cliffs. We draw another Grim Hair Specs. Not what we wanted to see. Turn two holds up mana. Ooh, birds is perfect. Don't counter my talisman, please. Talisman into birds. Pass turn. End of turn opt. Now I'm interested. I'm hoping they just play lands and don't have counter magic. A lot to ask. With Vorticliffs tapped, go for braids. They have the counter. Figures. Pass turn. Now we set up for death cloud. Actually, we just play another braids. I will do land versus everything. They take the four. Lose a land. We sacrifice a forest. Draw birds, which is perfect. Attack for two. Play the visionary. Play the temple. We're going to top the forest. Play birds. Pass turn. I don't have an answer. We sacrifice a forest. Draw our forest. Play the Harris specs. Play a second copy of Harris specs. Attack for four. Down a land. Sweltering Suns, we draw a whole bunch. A lot of good stuff there. They play a land. We have another smokestack. We'll go birds. Land. Smokestack. Discarding. We win! Got there. Can't beat the smoke stack. Onto sideboarding. I think this is a Dark Ritual Stacks matchup for sure. Bring those in, get rid of two Hera Specs, and Death Cloud is awkward against their counter magic. Run it back. We are on the draw. This hand seems good. As long as they don't have Sweltering Suns. Me and opponent are chatting. They are playing a Take Extra Turns deck, which is so bad against Braids. Poor opponent. Kind of the reason you run this deck, though. We want to land. Dark Ritual. Leading on birds, then. Pass turn. There's a forest. Let's cast Dark Ritual, see what happens. Cast Braids. They counter. Acceptable. We go land Elvish Mystic. Hope they don't have Swell Drink Suns. Let's draw a Swamp. They opt. They hit a land, but it's not a red source. We draw Swamp. We go Swamp. Garrick. Untap. Visionary. Now we can beat Mana Leak. Opponent does not make a land drop. We draw Wall of Blossoms. Let's go Smokestack. Dictate of Krufus. Acceptable. Play Wall of Blossoms. Play Drawnyard Temple. Make a beast. Pass turn. Let's see if Dictate can get them there. They need Sweltering Suns this turn. They do nothing. Just kidding, they kill my Garrick. Level up Smokestack. Hope to draw Black Braids. Two lands is not ideal. Play Temple. Scry into action. Black Braids is in fact action. 
Attack with everything. Opponent is on Suns or Bust. I draw Braids. They upkeep Flash into Fairy. Lose Dictate. Pass turn. We lose our Temple. Should have floated mana. Level up Smokestack. There's another Braids. Opponent says GG's. I am in fact recording. That's why I wasn't talking so much. GG's. Yeah, Smokestack does dirty things. I was about to play these girls. Play these girls out. See you guys next round. Playing against Edoms. Edoms. I'm gonna keep this hand. On the draw. Opponent Mulligans plays a land. Could be high tide. We want a land. We draw birds. Fair enough. Play birds. When does land go? I'm suspecting high tide, so we want to get smokestack down. Forest is perfect. We go land, zealot, birds. Next turn we'll play a smokestack. Definitely on high tide. Hope they don't have a counter spell. Stacks. Resolves. Attack for one. Pass turn. Opponents digging. They have like one turn. They get turnabout off peer through depths. Interesting high tide on upkeep. They have turnabout. We'll see if this works. I'm going to F6. They get turnabout. They cast turnabout. So now they have eight mana. Deep analysis. Turnabout. So they go down to two cards. Deep analysis. Another high tide means we're in trouble. Frantic search discarding lands. They have another frantic inventory. They're short on mana a little bit. There's another frantic search though. I think they probably got us, but we're going to wait and see. Well, opponent hit us with brain freeze. So they got that one. See you guys next round. So against them, we're bringing in the Dark Rituals, cutting the Hair Specs, cutting the Death Clouds. And we're going to run it like that. Go on the play. This hand is too slow. We mulligan. This hand is good if we hit a smokestack. I'm going to keep. Bottom of Zealot. Lead on Temple. Really just scrying for braids. Bottom Dark Ritual. There's the stacks. We will go Swamp, Ritual, Stacks. Go. See how opponent deals with this. Fair enough. Should have kept the Dark Ritual, I suppose. We're going to play a Land War Visionary. Really want to hit a land next turn so I can go Smokestack into Birds. Perfect. Land there was awesome. Cast Stacks. Play Birds. Last turn. Hope to not die. Opponent Shimmers, so they're not going off this turn. So if they don't bounce Smokestack, they're in a world of hurt. They do hit a land, though. So we uptick Talisman. Play Zealot, because we could still hit Black Braids. Play Garrick. Garrick untaps, play a talisman. Go. All right, can opponent go off with just a high tide and four cards in hand? If they can, I'll be very impressed. It's now or never, though. F6, we'll see what happens. They have a second high tide. I don't like that. But they're very limited on cards in hand. They have a ton of mana, though. Dizzy spell for opt. I like to see it. Frantic up to five. We need them to miss on mana here. Shimmer, they're down to three mana, so turnabout's not now. It has to be frantic search. Oh, they have Mystic Sanctuary? Uh-oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Alright, I think we're dead. They have 8 cards in hand now. Double frantic. Yeah, that's probably game. We'll just wait until they kill us. They bring guys of themselves for 16. And they have turnabout. That's game. Not gonna beat that one. Alright, I'm just gonna concede, save them time. See you guys. Well, no, we'll let them go off. We'll let them go off. See you guys next round. Alright, we're playing against Reniko F. Going first. This hand needs a green source, so we're gonna mole. This hand can be okay. We'll keep this. Get rid of a death cloud. Lead with swamp. We have drawn your temple smokestack, so it's hard to mulligan. Opponent plays temple of mystery, probably up to no good. We draw a forest. We go forest zealot. Draw braids. We need to just draw one more land. Second temple. Come on, deck. Give us a land or a creature. Grazer. Okay. We play the Harrowspex. Pass turn. Just hoping to draw a swamp. Grazer is very good against smokestack. I will say. And the wall. Yeah, they're set up for this matchup. That's unfortunate. Death Cloud is really our answer now, I think. We draw birds. I'm gonna play birds. Pass turn. Opponent doesn't do anything. Very much expecting counter magic here, but we'll play braids. Build Mystic, not what I wanted to see. Send it back. Opponent plays Factor Fiction and hits four things. I will split Omen Island with three lands. They take Omen Island, meaning they probably have a lot of land in hand. Play Temple. Put Talisman on top to level up for Death Cloud. Play Smokestack. Hope opponent whiffs. <laughs> I forgot Omen is also good against Smokestack. Let's see what their deck does. They pass turn. Level up Smokestack. Cast Talisman. Try and resolve a hair of Specs. Pass turn. Very curious what's going on over there. They're about to get Death Clouded though. They sack an island. Only two cards in hand. They pass turn. We're going to sacrifice a Zealot. Draw two cards. Level up Smokestack. See if Garrick eats a counterspell. 
Garrick does not get countered. We untap two lands, play smokestack, play birds. Opponent sacks two now. They're playing a big spell. We'll finally get to see what their deck does. Volcanic Geyser the Garrick. Interesting. Looks like Deathcloud is going to take this one home. I don't even need to play Death Deathcloud, I don't think. They finally attack. I'll take the damage. So we stack smokestack appropriately. Load a mana off our temple. So we add three. Sacrifice temple and forest. Get back temple. Sacrifice nothing. Level up. Level up. Play another temple. Pass turn. Or death cloud. One, two, three, four, five, six. Death cloud for three. Sacrifice birds, birds, harrispex. Actually, we keep a birds. Sacrifice temple, temple, swamp. Draw a card. Draw many cards. Pass turn. Opponent is going to go down to basically no lands. Then we're going to untap, play a bunch of lands, and win. Sideboarding actually feels good. I'm just going to run it back. Oh yeah, this hand's good. Got a quick birds. Drawn yard temple plus bridge. We just need a swamp. Opponent leads on evolving wilds. Very slow start for them. Forest, not ideal, but still fine. We play birds. Opponent fetches a forest. Plays a tap land. This is how they end. Grim hair specs. Yeah, we'll play the hair specs. I could have played the Zealot to try and draw land, but I feel like having hair specs and play with braids is also worthwhile. Although we have drawn your temple, that was probably wrong. Wanna go land go. We draw a visionary. I want to play Garrick. Negate. Did not expect that one. Attack for three. They kill the hair specs. Repeal the birds. Miss a land drop though. We go Talisman into Visionary. Never mind. We go Talisman into uh Dusk Legion Zealot. That way we can guarantee braids next turn. Um, by playing birds. Play birds. Pass turn. Girl Spiral digging for a land. They miss and we play braids. They die. They still probably just die. So we want to swamp off the top so I can go braids into hair specs. Ooh, double land. Okay, that's better for them. Forest is still fine. We go braids. Forest. Visionary. Double hair specs. Attack for one. Board wiper bust right here. They did not have it. No, repeat. We just sacrifice a temple. We can bring it back if we need. Cast a hair specs. Cast a hair specs, play land, no attacks. Actually, we can attack here. Um, they could have frilled Mystic, but they would have played it if they did, so. They kill Braids, we draw two. Should have attacked for more last turn. I could have put it on a two turn clock. <laughs> Soul Guide Lantern does hit the temple. I think I'm okay with opponent having that card in their deck though. One card in hand, let's play Visionary. Smokestack, swing out. See if I get hit by an Aether Spouts. Shouldn't have even talked about that. Oh, please don't have Aether Spouts. Okay, I could work with that. Draw a card, perfect. Opponent is fully hellbent. Player swamp, pass turn, see what they got. Opponent thinks for a while and passes turn. Going to level up smokestack. Garrick is good, we play Garrick. We play talisman, we make a beast. We play birds, then I swing out, and we find out what they drew. Okay, they kill the hair specs. I don't draw a card, but they take three. They go to four. They sacrifice a permanent. They need to top deck something right now. Opponent says GG. We got there. Awesome. See you guys next round. All right. We're playing against Path to Exile U6. This hand is good. We're going to keep. A forced off the top would be the best case, but we do have a turn three smokestack um, if we draw any land. No, we don't even need to draw land because we could just play birds off talisman. And temple's fine. Wall of Blossoms. We can do... Well, that's fine. Good with smokestack. Whoa. This has got to be some Hermit Druid combo nonsense. So we need to get down Smokestacks immediately. Let's go Swamp, Talisman. Probably going to lose game one. Birds, go. Oh, that's kind of cool, given both of these haste. Whoa, I love it. I don't know what's going on, but I absolutely love it. Hermit Druid coming down next turn. We might just die. Let's go Temple, Smokestack, Birds. Pass turn and see if we die. <laughs> Apparently this person was in my Discord building this deck, so that's really cool to play against them and probably die to their, uh, <laughs> whatever they got going on over there. Let's see what happens. So they Hermit Druid, which reveals until they hit a non-basic land, but their deck is, or until they hit a basic land card, but their deck is all non-basics, so it, they mill their entire deck. So you can see their entire deck is over here. Um, they hit three Creeping Chills and then a Fate Stitcher which lets them do something with mana. I'm not entirely sure what the win is yet, but they have these ghouls that if they gained life, they come back at the end of turn. So they did a bunch of damage to me and then they get the ghouls back too. And then they dread return 
with crashing drawbridge to give haste. Ooh, I love it. Oh my gosh, that is really scary. Okay, we are bringing in four soul guide lantern for sure. Death cloud seems a little bit medium against them. Uh, Curse of death hold uh, locks them out of being able to activate their creature. Probably don't need grim hair specs. I'll keep two in the deck. I probably want these dark rituals. I don't need too much value, so we can get rid of all the grim hair specs. And smokestack is a little bit slow. So we get rid of a smokestack and some zealots and hope that works out. Don't know how this will work, but we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, we got a sideboard. Let's go first. Turn two braids. I'm down. They mold a five, which I like. Very bad against braids. Um, I'm just going to put all the lands on top because we need braids to stick around. And I don't think they're going to have lands in play anymore. Swamp, ritual, braids, go. If they go off through a turn two braids, I will be completely astounded. Sacrifice our swamp. Swamp, wall of blossoms. Attack for two. Drown your temple is perfect. Hall of the bandit lord. Pay three life if the mana spend is on a creature, they gain haste. Okay. Well, they're doing it. They, they have some amount of mana. Sack the wall. Um, I'm going to save dark ritual. We're going to go drown yard temple into visionary. We're really trying to hit the curse of death's hold. What does this do again? Pay three life, add mana. If it was spent on a creature, they gain haste. Wow, if they play their hermit and then a land and give it haste, I'm gonna be shocked. Oh my gosh. Okay, they don't have green, but they will next turn. I need something here. So we're just gonna sacrifice the temple and wow, I just draw a forest. I think I actually lose. <laughs> Holy cow. Mold of five, I have four sideboard things. Might actually beat the turn two braids. Go forest. Pass. I'm asking my opponent if I'm going to lose with a turn two braids versus a mold of five. <laughs> I think I might. <laughs> I think I might lose. I'm not actually sure. So they get all their ghouls back. They play Thornwood Falls. All right, let's get this back. Um, let's just sacrifice the temple because I need all this mana again. Wait, where are the ghouls? Oh, they didn't bring in the ghouls. Interesting. Curse of Death's Hold. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Let's go with birds. Forest. Yeah, we're dead. That's unfortunate. Well, I assume we're dead, but maybe not. They sacrifice a thing, which will probably be Hermit Druid. They have all the Fate Stitchers and Dread Return. Yeah, I think I'm actually dead. <laughs> that is really cool. I mean, unfortunate for me. I had a lot of... I think I had seven outs for all those turns, but they still got me, right? They just Dread Return the Lot of the Giant, and then I die. <laughs> I don't mind this at all. If I'm going to lose, I might as well lose to that. See you guys next round. All right, we're playing against Nito Leo. We're going to keep this hand. We're on the draw, unfortunately. They go forest. We play birds. Sylvan Library. I hope it's not Eureka, but I guess we'll find out. We go forest, talisman, into elf. Setting up for that smokestack next turn. Stone rain. Interesting. Not really expecting that, but we still just get to play a smokestack and attack for one. My land destruction every turn is free. Theirs costs mana. They better start paying li life off Sylvan Library. <laughs> they did not pay life. That scares me a little bit. Elf into wall, acceptable. Level up smokestack. Draw the Harrowspex, I love it. Let's play Harrowspex into wall. Player swamp, pass turn. Really hoping to dodge a Glorybringer here. They sacked the library, interesting. I was hoping to dodge that. They wisely kill the Harrowspecs. So what am I going to do this turn? I have triple black. They have one card in hand. I don't think I need to death cloud this turn. So we're just going to do the smoke stack thing. So we sack our temple, bring it back, level up stacks. We play this guy using better mana. Then we play birds. Go. Opponent sacks wall and a mountain. Hope to see no secondary glory bringer. Garrick is fine. So we're going to... Probably reset this game. We need to draw a land here. I think we're going to sack Dronyard Temple and Forest. Put this up to three. Ooh, we draw Garrick. Garrick is huge, but I need to kill the Glorybringer. Let's play the Visionary. Another Garrick. Didn't hit the land though. We pass turn. When it draws Sylvan Library, which is really good here, they play Birds. Make a Beast. All right, they attack us, kill the thing. We are going to put Smokestack up to four. Sacrificing Swamp, Wall of Blossoms, Dust Legit, Zealot, and that can still let us cast Garrick. Put this up to four. 
We draw land, which is fantastic. We get to go land, play Garrick, make a beast, pass turn. They sack four permanents. Opponent sacrifices their Garrick, so they're going to lose their Glorybringer next turn, I'm pretty sure. They play wall and a land, so they don't actually lose Glorybringer. Okay, so now I need to do something else. I can sacrifice four permanents. So I can put it up to five and they can keep like Glorybringer land. I think we can actually still win from there though, because we have a backup Garrick. So let's just get back our temple. Sacrifice the beast temple mystic swamp. Go up to five. We draw braids. I did that wrong. I needed a land in play to untap with Garrick. I think we're dying here. I think we're actually going to die here. Because they can keep Glorybringer. They can kill Garrick and a bird. Yeah, I needed a land to get back the land. Yeah, I think I was one permanent short. Because I was going to untap, get back land. I guess that's the same as making a beast. Alright, they got this one. They attacked me or Garrick? They attacked Garrick. They got this one. Alright, alright, we're moving on. Bringing in the Sandworm Convergence. Really excited about that one. Bring that guy in. Curse of Death's Hold to hit their birds and elves. Um, don't so much care about braids against them. We're going more the Death Cloud route. We run it like that. All right, we're going to go first. Yeah, that's a quick Death Cloud. I'm going to keep. Opponent Mulligans, which is good when you're playing Death Cloud, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I'm new to playing this deck style, but it's really fun for me. We need one more black source and to draw Curse of Death's Hold, not a forest. Talisman into wall. Okay, temple will help. I don't know about bringing in Stone Rain against the Smokestack deck. I mean, it's working so far, but it seems suspicious. Player Visionary. I don't really want them to be able to kill any of my other lands, so I'm just going to play another temple. I guess they can just kill my Talisman, so that made no sense. Yeah, that was bad, because I could Death Cloud for two here, and that would be so good right now. Uh, I still can, actually, right? Yeah, that seems pretty nice. Three, four, five, Death Cloud for two. And I guess I'll just play my Mystic out, because I'm going to keep birds. Discard these. They go down to birds and two cards in hand. <laughs> that seems fine with me. Sacrifice wall and Elvish Mystic. The two power is pretty nice. Then we sacrifice our John Yard Temples. Go ahead. Pretty good draw, but I do have Lanor Visionary to attack them. And I draw Mystic, so I'm not going to attack. I'm just going to go with Mystic, Retrieve Temple, go. Where's our Curse of Death's Hold? I need it so badly. They don't hit a land. There's a bird, so we're going to attack for three. I kind of want to hold this birds in hand just in case they have a board wipe because I can cast every spell in my deck, so we're just going to get back the temple end of turn. And we got Curse of Death's Hold, Sandworm Convergence that we're drawing to. Or another Death Cloud. A second Sylvan Library is interesting. Get back our land. All right, well, we're drawing lands, which is fine. That's kind of what we expect. Attack for three. Put them down to seven. Still just holding this bird in hand. Opponent finally hits a land. Doesn't do anything. We keep drawing land. Attack for three. Play land, pass turn. Okay, we got there. Nice. Game three is going to be interesting. I have the Curse, I have the Convergence. Just gonna run it back like that. This hand is slow, but I am on the draw with a uh, Scry land. And I have the Curse of Death's Hold, so I think I'm going to keep. It might be a little bit risky though. We've turned one Elf, so they cannot Stone Rain me. Let's lead on Temple, because I really want to hit a Signet or something. Birds of Paradise is fine. They play Wall. Please no land. Darn. All right, well, we're gonna play Birds. They might kill it, but it's worth a shot. We go Birds. Because if Bird survives, we get to play Garrick. Into Drownyard Temple. They play Garrick, really hoping to not see a Glorybringer. I want to I wanna get Sandworm Convergence down so badly. Into Sylvan. I feel like it's almost guaranteed they're going to Glorybringer me, so I don't think I can actually play Garrick. Well, now I can. Having two makes it easy. We go Garrick, untap these two to play Wall of Blossoms. There's our Swamp for Curse. Let's just hope he plays a lot of birds. Please don't be Glorybringer. It's not Glorybringer! We did it! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I have no idea they could, what they could possibly have here, but we are just going to go with Drownyard Temple, curse them, make a beast. Pass turn. Now they're paying life. We get to play a smokestack, hopefully, and draw Sandworm Convergence. Okay, I can work with that. I don't mind that at all. They make a 2-2 beast. Does not beat my 3-3 beasts. Convergence. Okay, that can, that can draw us into it. Let's play the Zealot. Mm, 
Let's go smokestack and probably just make a beast. Hold back things to block their dark dwellers and whatnot. So we have four very good draws, Convergence and Death Cloud. Opponent makes a beast pass his turn. We will level up smokestack. Say yes. Another smokestack. Fair enough. Let's make another beast and play another smokestack. And at this point, I think I'm just going to play my elves. Pass turn. They choose not to pay life with library. So Glorybringer is still a little scary, but if they exert... Ooh, they kill their Garrick, which means they have another. If they exert Glorybringer, then we can just play our Garrick and uptick and then go for the ultimate, which might be what they're doing, honestly. Nope. All right. So we put the counters after we do this. We're going to float mana with the temple. Sacrifice that one. Bring it back. Then level up both of these. Draw a land, which is fine. We do that, um, I guess we're just going to play the long game here, and we're going to make up birds, and then uptick Garrick, keeping Garrick in hand. Pass turn. I just want to get down the convergence. I want to, <laughs> I want to see it in action, you know? So opponent sacrifices, uh, two tokens and a land. I see. Soul Guide Lantern can hit my temple. Weird card to sideboard again, but I guess it works there. Doesn't even work against temple, actually. Birds dies immediately. You know, I don't see a way out of this for our opponent. So we're going to do this. Float mana off of our temples and creatures. I'll sack a mystic, I guess. Sacrifice both of these. Bring this one back. So they can crack Soul Guide Lantern, but then they don't draw a card. Sure. So we bring this back. Bring this back. Our graveyard goes away. That goes away. Then we sacrifice one more temple. Then we level up these. Ooh, second curse. Um... Garrick is just going to make a beast because I'm all tapped out, but second curse next turn is going to be brutal. So they lose five permanents. They have no creatures in play. They might wipe the board, but that's... Uh, if they do have the sandstorm or whatever, that would be a little rough. Just a glory bringer. The best card possible, but still not the end of the world. So they kill a beast. They're about to take a whole lot of damage. They kill Garrick. All right, so we do this. We bring back Dronyard Temple. Then we're going to sacrifice Wall of Blossoms and two temples. Then we sacrifice two permanents. Let's bring back a temple. Sacrifice temple and forest. And I'm just gonna keep this the same. We draw swamp so we can go swamp, bring back our land, kill Garrick. Opponent loses five more permanents. And then next turn, they go down to like just glory bringer. We did it. <laughs> there was no way out for the opponent. That concludes the league. They sent me a message. I don't think I can read it, but good games, Neil Leto. Um, we'll do a recap. So overall, this deck performed quite well. Very happy with it. Um, never got to see Sandworm Convergence, but it seems awesome. We lost to two unfair decks. So maybe bringing in Duress instead of Choking Sands would be a good idea. Because um, I think it would have helped in both matchups. So some more quick interaction and just draw a little bit better. But it felt really fun. I love this archetype and I hope you guys enjoyed.